please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 3rd. Attention seniors, if you have any clips from high school, specifically senior year, that you would like in our senior video for the banquet, please email them to news at wimberschools.org. All clips must be school appropriate and involve people from our class, however they do not have to be from school. Not all the clips will be used, however the more we have to use, the better the video will be. World Languages Club members need to get a permission slip from Ms. Korber to attend the Gateway Clipper cruise in May. Prom signups are currently taking place in Mr. Culp's room from 7.30 to 7.55 and during Vote Tech and Junior Senior lunches. Reminder, freshmen and sophomores can only attend if asked by a junior or senior. No middle school students permitted. Prom signups will end May 11th. Attention girls junior high volleyball players. Uniforms should be turned into Ms. Cover in room 227B in the high school by tomorrow. Congratulations to Matthew Kozar for winning the District 5 Singles AA Boys Tennis Championship. Matthew will advance to states, which will be held on Friday, May 25th. Any student that is planning to play a fall sport, please sign up in the library by Friday, May 11th. The first meeting for varsity cheer will be held, this, be held tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. The cheerleader and parent must attend together. Seniors attending the senior picnic on Thursday, May 3rd have to stay at least until 12.45 before leaving. Due to the vote held amongst the seniors, graduation will be held at the stadium, weather permitting. Today for lunch, we are having chicken fajitas, whole grain shells, refried beans, pineapple tidbits. Now let's take a look at our Wimber weather and sports. Good morning, it's Jonathan here with your daily weather forecast. Today will be the hottest it has been all year with a high coming in at 80 degrees and a low of only 64 degrees. There is only a 20% chance of rain and mostly sunny skies, so it should be a very nice day to go outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. For the weekend, the nice weather ends with three out of the five days coming in with rain showers. However, the temperatures stay moderately warm with highs reaching as high as 72 degrees and lows in the 40s and 50s. Thanks and have a great day. This is Seth here with your brain teaser of the day. What has a foot but no leg? If you guessed ruler, you are correct. Thanks and have a great day. The man who invented the waterbed was unable to patent it because it had already appeared in science fiction novels. Pandas have lived on Earth for two to three million years. The Berwyn Natural Resources Corporation is inviting students to participate in the design of a mural which will be displayed on the Berwyn Building at 509 15th Street in Wimber. With the coal mining industry and the heritage of Wimber being the central theme of the mural, please feel free to include local organizations and institutions such as our veterans, first responders, and medical facilities. The Berwyn Corporation will provide students with a scholarship in the amounts of $2,000 for first place, $750 for second place, and $500 for third place. The committee's goal will be to present your design as closely as possible to the original design, but retains the right to modify the design if so determined by the mural committee. The mural can be done as one large design measure, measuring 34, 33 feet 4 inches by 8 feet or two murals measuring 16 feet 8 inches by 8 feet. Drawings must be submitted to the high school office by May 29th. Thank you for your interest in this community project. Do all dogs bark in the same language? Woof. If you expect the unexpected, then doesn't that make the unexpected expected? Two people can never go to each other's funerals. Once you read the dictionary, every other book you read is just a remix. Why is a W called a W instead of a double V? Bullets and fireworks are the only things that do their jobs after they're fired. What if soy milk 
It's just introducing itself in Spanish. Do bald people use shampoo or soap? Ask Mr. Wright. Do bald people use soap or shampoo? Both. Oh. I've used both. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I shampoo my beard. I soap my head. I shampoo my head. I soap my beard. What? Exactly. Today's word of the day is flaky. If you're flaky, you're offbeat and you probably don't function in society quite like everyone else. If you say you'll come to a party and then forget to show up, you are flaky. Thanks and have a great day.